And welcome back, folks, to another exciting episode of Wrath of the Lamb. Still trying to get that Dark Boy achievement. Last time we had a pretty crappy item combination, as opposed to the one before that. Uh, I don't want that. I don't want that either. Um. So, yeah, we kind of failed. Uh, I, I don't quite know what else to say to that, because uh, that's pretty much all that happened. Uh, we tried. We failed and we did not really get anything out of it. We did not find any of the missing items yet either, so... Failure all across the board, basically. I am kind of thinking about different strategies, you know, like... Um, like using Brimstone again or something equivalent, like using... Book of Shadows for invulnerability, like using the Bible to circumvent the actual boss fight pretty much, so... Yeah, I'm not sure yet how we're gonna do that. We may simply have to keep trying, honestly. Okay, let's fight the boss. Ah, uh, no, before we fight the boss we have to re-roll at least once. Hope we get something good. I, again, cannot waste any of my re-roll charges. Uh, again, Poison Touch. Not useful in this kind of run. Luckily, this is a room where we get another bit of charge, but it's not not enough. No, we don't get another charge on this floor, unfortunately. So, we might as well pick up Poison Touch and then fight the boss. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Hmm. Yeah, I... I don't know. If you have ideas how to, how to do this challenge, or uh, this achievement, let me know. It wasn't that hard in the original. Binding of Isaac, I think it's much harder now. But uh, we're just gonna keep trying, I suppose. Right. Oh, okay, we are invulnerable right now. Well, not anymore. At least we took out some of the Larry Jr. segments right there. Pushpin will every now and then create spectral and piercing tears, but it's very rare. And really a pretty bad trinket, if you ask me. Or at least it's nothing that I really need to hold on to, so if we find anything better, even slightly better, we're just gonna switch it out immediately, pretty much. Got hit again, but once more, I do not care too much about that while we are still on these early floors. Get some health? I mean, okay, sure. If I didn't get hit, then maybe I'd have a greater chance at uh, getting a deal with the devil. But, yeah, I don't know just can't care the entire time of the run, you know. <laughs> Too stressful. It's already a very stressful achievement, I think. The other ones kind of happened by themselves as I was playing. But this one is really tricky. I don't like it. And I'm not sure, but I think you may actually need that one, too, for Platinum God. You didn't need the... Uh, uh, here, run into them. Well, I wasn't quite as long invulnerable as I thought I would be. Um, you didn't need the... Uh, mm, that's okay. Yeah, let's take it. You didn't need the no damage achievements for Golden God, but I think you may actually need them for Platinum God. And even if you didn't need them, I would still want it. Just so I can say, yeah, I have actually 100% at this game. Yeah, OCD again. But, uh, you know, that's how it is. Alkin Baby might help us deal with some of this crap coming in from the sides every now and then. It might be very helpful later on. Honestly, I'm still hoping for flying items or something like that. Just so I'm mobile enough, you know? Being mobile is so important in this game. Especially on the depths where there are um, chasms and ravines everywhere. You know, and your movement is really limited unless you can fly. Or, or if there aren't any ravines, then there's spikes everywhere, which has the same effect, of course, of ending our achievement run. So, yeah, I mean, kind of playing along here with these little gaper dudes, not a big deal. So we're gonna keep on trucking here and hope that we can get our hands on something useful. And Soul Heart's probably gonna pick them up a little bit later. Gish Champion, that's uh, that's something rare. But 
again, not a big deal. Samson's Lock. I think that basically gives us a uh, bloodlust. In essence, you know. Without picking up bloodlust. So that's actually probably a pretty good trinket. At least certainly better than, than Pushpin. You might think uh, Piercing Shots and Spectral Tears would be awesome to have for this kind of run. Because you could hide behind uh, rocks and, and enemies would be shot immediately through other enemies. You'll be right, of course. But uh, Pushpin has like a, I don't know, 10% chance of creating such a tier. It's so rare that the effect happens that it's probably not worth it. So, I don't know. I'm just gonna stick with Samson's lock here and uh, hope it'll be worth it. And Harlequin Baby, really helpful against Monstro here. Because Monstro is so big, he takes tons of damage. And we get a pentagram, which is also great, because we do tons more damage now. Not yet leaving, we are gonna use this uh, delightful little machine here. At least like uh, four times. Get a ton of money out of it, so we will also go to the shop. And of course pick up the rest of the hearts lying about everywhere. Let's see here, what do we have? Battery is great item, certainly, but not our priority. Let's see what we can make out of it. Steam cell is awful, at least for our purposes. So we hopefully will get a few more rooms with enemies, maybe, if we're lucky. I don't know. Oh, we would need a bomb to blow up this X-Rock right here. Right, let's keep going. Come on, Hopper, you're making this much more difficult than it has to be. Dude, there we go. Another key for the next floor. Which is good. Right, we need one more room after this with enemies inside. To re-roll the item on the shop. Don't even know what exactly I want from the shop, but... Uh, eh. We might actually want to... No, oh, no, we don't have any bombs. Hmm. That's too bad. A compass would of course be great. Ah, so we do get our charge up. A compass would be great because that would again allow us to move to the bosses of the floor immediately without having to go through all of the different rooms, which of course highly increase the risk of getting hit. Uh, can we reroll that? We could reroll that into I don't know what. We're gonna try our luck on the shop, so we're gonna take this one instead. Yeah, not that I need the health, but uh, we might also get a chance to deal with the devil later on. So having some more health to deal with would be would be good. Okay, let's reroll it. Compass. There we go. That was what I was hoping for. Right. So there's still plenty of health lying everywhere, so we are gonna play a little bit more. Let's see here. Uh, okay. That I don't want. And I don't have enough charges left to reroll it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk around here and uh, use up all these hearts. Yeah, that should be fine. But we are gonna take the D6 with us for that last room, just in case there's enemies inside. That would already be a bit of a charge for the next floor. But uh, yeah, we're gonna have to make another another walk around in this area. Oh, right, there's also soul hearts left. Maybe they're all soul hearts, which I didn't pick up yet. Might very well be. So yeah, there, there are more enemies here, that's fine. Gives us another little bit of a charge. Oh. Should've just walked to the side, but uh, kind of couldn't figure that out at the time. And this guy should die easily. Another key, perfect. There's a hell of a lot of areas where the uh, where the secret room might be hiding. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> More solots, which I really do not need. Hmm. <laughs> well, we do have the compass at least, so that's something will allow us to minimize the amount of rooms we have to go through. Still, things aren't looking good yet. I hope they will by the end of this floor. 
So what we do now is we exchange the dice against the uh, IV bag and take all the rest of the money with us. And I have to check if if there is a bomb in the in the shop, then we will also blow up that X rock. No, there's no bomb in here anyway. Okay, doesn't matter. How much health is there left? There probably would would just have been uh, soul hearts anyway, and not any regular hearts uh, or, or you know bombs, keys, or really useful stuff for us in our current situation. Health is really only necessary now for bargaining with the devil. But so far he hasn't even talked to us. Oh, I can't even get that. Okay, that was a complete waste of time. Sorry for that, folks. I kind of forgot where the health was situated in particular. So, yeah. Let's keep going. And we are, of course, taking the D6 with us. Might come in very handy on the next few floors. Again, the Bible would be great, flying would be great, brimstone would be great, uh, lots of options. Right, another one of these awful rooms, I hate them. Maybe the Harlequin baby will help us here a little bit. This thing is so gonna jump at me, isn't it? Uh, maybe we got this. Yeah, we got this. Pure luck, honestly. That, that had nothing to do with skill. That thing could have jumped at me at any moment. Right, what's in the next room? Spider stuff, okay, that's fine. We can take out these cocoons first. Uh, maybe not. Okay, there we go. Alright. And again, Harlequin Baby, really helpful because it adds like a little bit of diagonal shots. Loki's horns are crap. And I could cook for this crap. Yeah, we're gonna have to recharge that. Not gonna open that yet. Might do so if we find another key. And yeah, this is okay with me. We're gonna kill one of them. And then... Maybe... Nah, that's, uh, that's too difficult on this setup. Never mind. We get another slight charge on our D6, so we are getting closer to re-rolling. And then we'll see what happens. Right. Okay, this is an interesting situation with the Harlequin baby. Oh god, I still get hit here. Uh, uh. Oh, I did not get hit yet. Yet. If that thing had decided to move towards me, I would have gotten hit. And I might still get hit here. Oh. That of course is a problem with Harlequin baby. You cannot easily control where its shots go. So... You might end up freeing all of those flies, even if you don't want to. Okay, I'm gonna blow that up. Okay, uh, maybe you can destroy some of these rocks. Yeah, that's fine. Not that I need it, but uh, maybe you can blow this up. No, this. All right, you destroyed it, so now now it's not gonna help anybody. Whatever, we get ourselves a charge for our D6, so you know what that means, backtracking and re-rolling. Oh, I would love to fly right now. Make things so much easier. Tarot card, we are gonna use them at least once. The sun is a good card, certainly better than the tower. But uh, I would like to reroll that again because uh, I don't know. There's still potential in that item room. If we can find enough rooms to fight in, then that will actually work. Incredible how few bombs I have had in this run. Ah, another one of these rooms, and of course it ran right into me, and of course it ran right into me again. Not that it matters. Remember, it really doesn't matter at all. <sighs> but it's still annoying. Just give me the Bible or something. Okay, well we have one bomb. I am gonna waste it, or use it wisely, on this room right to the left here. Might be the secret room. 
No, it's not. Then that's probably to the right instead. Which sucks. And again, I hate these rooms now. Stupid little Larry Jr. wannabe. Idiot creatures there. And these flies, they just take so much damage. That's quite weird. Right, uh, we are gonna get one last recharge on this floor. So hopefully, the item that the boss drops is good on its own, so that we uh, can use it on the item room instead. Eh, uh, who cares. The stars is not as good. Let's fight. The hollow one, a special version of the hollow one, that's fine. Oh. Again, who cares, honestly, at this point. <laughs> just, uh, just die, maybe. Yeah, oh! Bomb flies inside, that's a bit insane. Okay, well this will make things easier, actually, because uh, we will have more room to shoot without all those rocks everywhere. Of course I blow myself up in the meantime. Um, not that it matters, still, you know. Although, again, I may have just screwed myself over by uh, not getting a deal with the devil by doing this. Oh, crap, 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 crap! Yeah. This is actually a bit difficult, because uh, even the segments that blow up, like, on their own... Yeah. Squeezy, yeah, sure, whatever. Even the segments that kind of blow up on their own still leave behind uh, bomb fight, so it's annoying. And Guardian Angel, that's actually really helpful. That might be what we need to avoid a disaster like last time. But first we'd have to get to Mom, of course, so yeah, still not looking too good. Again, being able to fly, or brimstone, or something like that, you know? Epic feeders would be great too. I mean, that would allow us to um, to knock everything out from a distance. Let's, uh, let's go for it here. I don't need this help anyway. Come on, give me something at least. Okay, well, now I don't want to open it. Ah, damage upgrade. It's better than nothing, I guess. I mean, honestly, in a normal run I would be happy about this damage upgrade, but uh, in this kind of run I care a little less. Because I really care more about getting items that let me survive without getting hit even once. And those are pretty rare. Now of course we need to get uh, get a key somehow. Which might not be possible. But uh, we are still on the catacombs so we can at least explore everywhere and not care if we get hit. There we go. Some money, we might go to the shop if we find a key. And some Larry stuff, that's okay. That was easy. And yeah, we are gonna go into the quest room, why not? What do we have here? A soul heart, hmm. Okay. I don't care, honestly. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm a bit... I'm a bit unhappy with how these runs are going, but uh, that's just to be expected, you know. It's a very difficult achievement, I think, because a single tiny mistake completely messes it up, and that's horrible. Let's use it. Nothing. Okay, that's fine. I need a key, folks. I need a key. And quick, because otherwise I might be wasting my D6 charges here. Um, hmm. At least we're dealing sizable damage now, but uh, that's obviously not a guarantee. Let's fight this mini boss, sure. Super Wrath, okay, give us something good. Or just blow me up with troll bombs, sure. Whoa, whoa, ah, I got stuck on a rock. Crap. I might actually die here because I keep getting because I keep running into rocks or into into uh, dead ends and whatnot. Let's just kill this dude now. I'm so sick of him. 
There we go, that's more like it. That's less like it. Ah, uh, okay, you're poisoned. There, you die now. And I get two bombs, and I lost all my health. You know what, I might actually die before we even get to the depths now. Let's play like we already are in the depths, I guess. <laughs> okay, clearly not going anywhere near that. This might work if we can blow it up quickly enough. Yeah, that was okay. TNT helping us out. Is there no help anywhere? I don't think. I don't think so. Right, uh, green zombies shouldn't be that big a deal. We can just take them apart from a distance. Yeah, that worked. Uh, I still don't have any keys though, so that's difficult. Okay, more of these green zombies. Uh, and of course the hellfire. It's gonna be a problem. There we go. It's starting to fire at us already. There we go. Okay, we get a key, finally. Let's take out these fires just to avoid any unfortunate surprises. Don't want that. And uh, then we will reroll that item, probably. And fight the boss. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> yep, this is the kind of stuff I don't like about the game because, uh, well, we got a game kit again. Don't want it. Dead bird? That's even worse. <laughs> uh, we might as well take it, but it's obviously worthless to us. We don't want to get hit in the first place, but whatever. Yeah, I mean, I mean, this is just a very difficult achievement to get, and it got so much worse with the alternate floors. So honestly, everybody who did not delete their save games from the main game, you made the right choice. Because getting this one back is probably gonna be a major pain for me. But uh, we'll keep on trying, certainly. Okay, I completely forgot that this boss appeared in the catacombs. I thought it was a boss for the uh, for the depths, honestly, because this one is a pretty tough boss. I mean, isn't Chubb a boss for the uh, for the caves? Why do we, do we fight the much more dangerous version on the same level, basically? On the alternate of the same level. And yes, there's all this blood poop, which is gonna kill us, probably. We do have a bomb. Here, eat that. Yeah. That helps, I guess, but uh, it's still gonna be pretty tough. Hmm. We need to hold on to the red, to the last of our bombs. Well, that cut it short. Right, folks. Uh, at least we're gonna get closer to our 100 death achievement. <laughs> so, yeah. See you in the next episode, I guess. Bye.